Halo. Yours truly, Diva. Diva Larie representing for the UNA University and UNA Republic for you. Let's do this. I'm yours truly, Diva Larie, once again with the UNA University and UNA Republic. Welcome, everybody. What is the federal government? What is it? We're going to go over that today because. We've got to start recognizing all of these different quote unquote governmental agencies and which ones are quasi, meaning fake, not real, and which ones are there to actually help you and protect you. All right, so now before I get into this, I want y'all to know we do have our membership packages. All right, make sure you get these. See, this is going to be important. And what I'm talking about when I go into what is the federal government today, okay? These are important because there's a jurisdiction right now that you are assumed to be under and is not federal, it's actually the state. And I'm going to go a little bit through the difference because I've talked about this before. But what happens with these documents, this is a trust whereby UNA is recognizing you as your own nation. Well, what happens is that there's a jurisdiction that once you put yourself under trust, that the state does not have jurisdiction over you anymore. That's what this is about. This is taking control of your vessel, taking control of your all capital letter name, taking control of your estate. These are sealed trust documents right here, all right? Uh, that come with the membership pack. We also have the Elodial ID, okay? You get this UNA Elodial ID. This deals with your spiritual thing. And also it comes with a UCC code so that you can access the documents that you have put on record with UNA because UNA has our own public document section. This is a membership bag. And this deals with your corporation name, you use this when agencies are trying to come at you and force you into contracts, okay? So this is a very powerful package. It comes with your federal ID number, okay? So we're going to get into that. All right, let's go into this. What is the federal government? Now, I have gone over with you all in previous sessions about the difference between the United States of America, which is a republic, versus... The United States Corporation. I need y'all to understand something. The other day, a couple of days ago, a couple of sessions ago, I came in and I was speaking to you all about how these AI programs and all of these other programs about how they are run by those who are purposely keeping information from you. Once again, these AI programs, and I'm not dissing them or downing them. They have their place. They have the abilities to help enhance businesses. However, I need y'all to recognize that these programs are created and run by those who are specifically attempting to keep you from gaining knowledge of who you are and what's going on in this dimension. Why is that important? One of the things, these AI programs, and I've seen them on several different platforms. When you ask about the difference between the United States or the United States Corporation. They, they put up this thing where they say, well, the United States is a sovereign, blah, 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 blah. And people falsely believe that it is a, a corporation in Washington, D.C. Okay. But then when you ask this program about what is the act of 1871, it's going to tell you, oh, well, that was just a contract and a treaty between Britain. No, let's understand this, and I'm going to say this again. It is a contract between Britain and the United States, where the United States made a contract with Britain, and their territory and authority would only be within what we know of as Washington, D.C., but they have created organizations and entities to make the people believe that they have jurisdiction outside of Washington, D.C., when you're talking about the state of Virginia, state of Georgia, state of Texas, state of Tennessee, you're talking about a private corporate entity belonging to Britain that really does not have jurisdiction within America. And I need y'all to understand, and please hear me closely, Washington, D.C. is not 
a part of America. Oh, well, what you talking about, devil? Come on now. Because it's on the land. It's on the territory. It's, oh, what you talking about? Pay attention. Washington, D.C. was established with that Constitution of 18, or actually 1779 or 1789. That's when the first crony for Britain came in, George Washington. And he established Washington, D.C. as a neutral territory, whereby people, states, the different states, if they had a dispute, they would go to this neutral territory called Washington, D.C., and they will settle that dispute. Well, this British corporation finally set up a, another corporation inside of there in 1879 called United States, but that had nothing to do with America, and it had nothing to do with the United States of America. There's a difference. If you have not seen that, go and catch my session where I go through the difference between the United States of America versus the United States. We are streaming on YouTube, so you can get our sessions on YouTube under UNA Republic, okay? UNA Republic. So now we're understanding that there is a corporate entity sitting in Washington, D.C. that is private, that has nothing to do with America. When you're talking about voting for a president, you're voting for the president of the United States, this private corporation sitting in Washington. I need y'all to understand something. When you're talking about a true sovereign entity, they don't have a president. Presidents are for corporations and dead fictitious dead fictitious entities presidents are for corporations and dead fictitious entities when you start talking about a sovereign entity you're talking about a governor why is it that your states have a governor whereas this united states corporation has presidents when digo says joe biden is a dictator okay the problem is that you plan politics when digo you stop playing politics, you wouldn't care nothing about a Joe Biden. You're not going to care anything about a president of the United States because you're going to understand that it has nothing to do with you. We don't play politics here because we could care less about what they're doing. Why? Because we're not under their jurisdiction. Understand this, what I'm saying. And Stud says AI. Stud, just so you don't, it, it, just in case you don't know, um, AI, it means artificial intelligence, and there are programs and platforms that are running artificial intelligence programs. So I'm making it clear to you all to be careful and do your due diligence when you're dealing with these artificial intelligence programs because they're going to give you information. And if you're not wise enough to go and look that information up, they're going to tell you things and you're just going to believe it. Don't believe nothing nobody say, not me not another computer, not AI, not somebody else who I hear talking about, they know law. Go look it up for yourself, all right? This is very important. So let me get back on this. We're understanding that when you're talking about the states, and just in case you all don't know, every state is a sovereign entity. Now, I'm not talking about, see, I need y'all to pay attention now. There's a difference between state of Georgia and Georgia Republic state of anything belongs to the United States Corporation. Georgia Republic is its own country. It's a country. Every state is its own country. Every state in North America is its own country. What does it have to have to be a country? A flag, a seal, a constitution, a landmass, and a bank. Every state in North America has a flag a seal, a constitution, a landmass, and a bank. They are sovereign. That's why you hear the governor of Georgia, governor of Tennessee, governor of whatever. It's a governor because it is a sovereign entity, and it is separate from this United States corporation. Let me get into it, because now we've understood and, and established that there is a sovereign for a republic for the people, and then there's a private entity called United States Corporation.